Hi guys, Daz here with another episode of my comic book hunting adventures videos. This time it is episode 40 and today I am at the Bath Comic Con and Gaming Festival of 2022. And this is hosted at the University of Bath. There's a bit for everyone here. Oh, look at this one. Never ending story. I remember having a golden retriever as a child. Love that dog. Always reminded me of that creature. This is my second year of attending the Bath Comic Con. Nightmare Before Christmas, never liked that. But I believe this is the first time this venue has hosted it. It is a big sports hall. We've got a lot of retro gamers here. Now this was around about an hour and five minute drive from my house. Comics wise guys, I've done pretty well. There are only three actual comic book sellers here. But you know me, I only deal in key issues and I've picked up one nice Silver Age book. Only around about a 4.0, but I haven't paid a lot for it. And that's the key to it, really. A lot of nice Copper Age books and moderns. Yeah. Cool, thank you guys. Loads of pops, loads of Lego. Loads of Pokemon cards. Never seen so many Pokemon cards at a con. Photography area. Over there we've got Andrew Lee Potts, who is the celebrity that attends all the local ones. He basically appeared in a dinosaur show over here in the UK called Primeval. I've got the box set, believe it or not. <laughs> It's not fantastic, but it was okay. The guy there, he parked next to me in the car park. Didn't realize it was him. He played Little John in Robin of Sherwood when I was a youngster. <laughs> There's a bit for everyone, like I said, guys. That voice you can hear is they're announcing a cosplay competition, not surprisingly. They're everywhere, aren't they? Now, when I arrived, I thought I had a ticket, but I didn't. I hadn't even bought one, so I had to pay on the door. I think it was 14 quid to get in. Like I say, it shuts at four, but I'll be gone long before then. Stranger Things display, look. The displays are always impressive at cons, I think. Now this company is bringing it to Gloucester on October the 1st. Here's the Rogues Gallery. Lovely Star Wars set up here for the Mandalorian. We've got R2 and Grogu, YG-11, Mando's helmets. Stranger Things display again. And I think this company is going to the Bristol Comic Con in a couple of weeks. So I may might head down there problem is though a couple of local artists here we got Lee Bradley and we got Grant Perkins do some pretty stellar work problem is though with con after con in the local area you're always thinking you're going to run into the same books but like I say I've done very well I'm happy how many books have I picked up all told 30 to 40 I reckon and you know me most books a couple of quid or a pound and uh, a lot added to the PC and a lot to restock my eBay store you can check out the link to that on my community page picked up a nice copper age key there like I said there's a couple of people here with a couple of boxes that you can just rummage through but I'll be showing you the comic book sellers very soon. Probably pick up something from my kids as well in a minute. May head down to the local comic shop. Now the local comic shop is here. They're called American Dreams. I've been there before. I went there last year. Look at this cool statue selection. Love the Iron Man's. This was a cool dinosaur display just now. There was a big old Velociraptor walking around. Up. 
Oh, the Astro Mechs are off and running. Very cool. Now here, guys, is uh, the first comic area that we I ventured and had a look through their boxes. I picked up some very good keys here. The gentleman was nice enough to let me behind the store, uh, behind the counter, to look through some bags of comics as well. And I've done well there. Picked up my most expensive book of the day there. This guy always delivers. See him at all the cons. Most books there, £2.25, £2.50. I filled my boots with modern keys. This is the American Dream Store. Good selection. Current hot independent titles. Here's the war. Here's the moderns. Of course, 8 billion genius is on fire as we know at the moment. Second appearance of Silk there. First Beyonder. Origin of Thanos. First Pip the Troll. First Lucifer, I've got that one. Kind of key Sandman books. Iconic Batman cover. And then we're getting into some of the bigger books. Look at this one, Sabretooth. What have we got on that? 580. Oh my days, two from my blood. First full Alpha Flight, 225.99. First Craven, 480. That doesn't seem a bad price. Selection of slabs as well down there. What's that first Kitty Pride and Emma Frost? Hellfire Club. <laughs> Just doing the tours, mate. <laughs> so many Pokemon cards, I don't think I've ever seen so many. If you like what I see, guys, please like and subscribe and all that jazz. Origami. I never thought I would see an origami table at a Comic Con. Oh my days, what's going on? Like I say, there seem to be less and less comics. I did pick up one Silver Age key, one I've wanted to add for some time. Like I said, picked it up in this box, believe it or not. There is a key issue here that's got permanent marker pen on the front cover. So I don't know whether I could get that off. I would buy it otherwise. Swords. Amazing how many swords you see at a Comic Con. Always see them. I find it a bit baffling, but they've always got an audience. Core selection helmets, MCU and Star Wars and horror. Gaming tables. A lot of cool posters. Figures. I was hoping to find some vintage Star Wars figures, but no joy. Do you know that's my other passion? Collecting the old uh, Kenner from the 1970s and 80s. Here's the cosplay area. There's a stage set up for a competition later. I won't be here long enough, I don't think. Might have me dinner and then make a move. Might head down to the local shop. Cakes look nice. Like I said, a bit for everyone, guys. Nice to see so many kids. Another guy with a few comic boxes. Picks up a couple of cheap, very cheap, boys' keys, key issues, which is always nice. I'm excited to show off this haul. If you like your Dr. Ray, there's a Dalek in the old TARDIS. Bit for everyone. Combat Academy over here teaching you how to use a lightsaber. Brutal. <laughs> well, that's it, guys. That is a wrap.
Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.